we are now looking at a uh, roughly 40 feet by 70 foot center bay entrance bank barn. Um, the barn is made of uh, mostly hardwood, presumably oak. It's a five bent, four bay uh, bank barn. We're coming into the center bay. Nearly all of the posts are seven by seven. The tie beam uh, eight by eight. I am now in the center of the barn and the roof appeared to be eight or nine over 12. Um, the vertical queen posts seven by seven with uh, four by four, four foot bracing, three foot six or four foot bracing. Uh, the roof pulling plate appeared to be seven by seven. The raffer plate looked like it's seven by eight, eight by eight. And all the wind braces are six by eight. On the gable wall, from the corner post to the second post is 14 feet. From, from the second post to the third post is roughly 11 feet. And the third post to the fourth post is 14 feet. The interior posts are different layout. Um, from that back post to the third post, it's close to 14 feet, 4 inches. And from that stunning post to the next post, it's roughly 12 feet, 8 inches. And then from that post to the front post is close to 13 feet. The barn door header to the floor is... 13 feet, 4 inches, and from the barn header to the raffle plate is another 3 feet and 4 inches. Uh, it's, the entire frame is made out of sawn oak timbers or some sort of uh, hardwood. Uh, it's in very, very good condition. The wall pulling appeared to be 4x4, four 4x5, four, four maybe a little larger. The rafters are roughly 2x5, two 2x6, two, two foot on center. They are one continued rafters from the raffer plate to the ridge. The height of the vertical queen post is roughly 10 feet. 